And we back! Today's our first attempt to go 82-0 in NBA 2K24. But of course, there's a twist. Because I came to the realization I'm not going to naturally go 82-0. It's never happened, and it never will. So I need some type of boost. I need some type of help. And today's help is a random name generator. This might be easy to explain, but hard to understand. So lock in for a second. So this place generates names for you. Very, very simple. And I have to use a name a word association to get a real NBA player based on the fake name. So example one is Antonio Connor. So I can go get a guy like Antonio Davis because the names are similar. Or Josh Fisher, I can go get Josh Smith or Derek Fisher or Josh Green. Like something along those lines. And we have to go 82-0. I'm going to try to stretch it, y'all. I'm going to try to stretch it because we need to build an elite level roster to go 82-0. Leave a like. Subscribe. Let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by Seagy. The NBA season is here, y'all, which means there's ample opportunity to go see your favorite team. And if you're looking for tickets to sporting events, concerts, Broadway, comedy, whatever you need, SeatGeek is the way. I personally was just in Denver and got to see the ring ceremony for the Denver Nuggets, and I bought my tickets on SeatGeek. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's say I want to go to the first in-season tournament game between the Cavaliers and the Indiana Pacers. You click it, and then you're going to see a picture of the venue with a bunch of dots the greener the dot, the better the deal. So I personally like to sort by the deal, and you can see this right here for $57 and 9.9 .9 on the 10 scale. And if I bought this ticket, this is what I will see. It's a good ticket for a good price. And it's just that simple. So if you need tickets for anything, look up on SeatGeek, man. Hit the link in the description. Use code Kenny so you can get $20 off. If you want to go to that game for the $57 ticket and you use code Kenny, come on, man. That's a bargain. That's a deal. Shout out to SeatGeek again for sponsoring another video. All right, our first official one. You know what? I think I want to do it in bulks of three. How about that? In bulks of three, and I find my favorite out of the three. Great. We got Omar Folly, Shane Clayton, and Bradley uh, Chandler. So the top one, Omar Foley. The best Omar in history. I don't think there is one. Only Foley I know is Mick Foley. Shane Battier, okay. And, or, or that's all I got. Bradley Chandler is either... Chandler Parsons or Bradley Beal. So of these three, I will take Bradley Beal. Does that make sense? Hopefully so. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, we keep it moving with Stuart Valdez, Philip Dawson, and Russ Conley. That's a that's a real that's a combination of two real NBA players. Um, of course I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna say of course I'm taking Russell Westbrook. But this is an 82-0 challenge. We got to talk about the entire history of basketball. So the most winningest player in the history of the sport, 11 rings. Give me Bill Russell. Philip Dawson doesn't give me anything. And Stuart Valdez doesn't either. So we keep it moving with Justin Burton, Santiago Fry, Alejandro McGowan. McGowan. Um, well, this is not as good. Okay, Justin. I can go get... J J Justin Holiday, Channing Fry. I might go get Channing Fry. Yeah, that might be the best guy here. I feel like I'm forgetting something because it doesn't have to necessarily be the full name. As you just saw, we got Russ Conley and we turned that into Russell. So if there is there like a Mick, somebody that we can take Mick McDaniel's. We got Mick Dice, Mick Grady. Tracy McGrady? Is that too much of a stretch? No, this is my video. I'm taking T-Mac. Because it is just association. It's not full name, full name. It's association. I'm taking T-Mac, and I'm not going to think twice. Angelo Schw Schwartz, Ed Robles. This is, this is just showcasing how bad I am at reading names. Um, Robles, Andre Valentine. Ooh, um, Andre Iguodala. Okay, that's a good one. Um... Angelo, D'Angelo Russell, Ed D. Jones, Ed Davis, Ed, Ed, um, sheesh. And Valentine is really just Den Den Denzel Valentine. Obviously, we're not drafting him. Iggy might be our best get, get here. Iggy might be our best get. Or do I take Andre and make it Andrew? But I don't, I don't, because we only be adding one letter, right? I don't know if there's an Andrew better than Iggy. So let me take prime version of Iggy. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's keep it going. Calvin Skinner, Willard Archer, Chuck Martin. Okay, what are we doing about Chuck? Because Charles Barkley, Charles Charles Barkley's nickname is Chuck. You take Charles, you make Chuck. That's association. We got Martin, um, uh, Lawrence, no, uh, Kendrick Martin, Kevin Martin, Archer, Archer, Chris Archer, no, uh, Calvin Skinner. We got Brian Skinner, Calvin 
Calvin Murphy. Calvin Booth? No, no. He could be our executive. Martin. There's got to be a Martin that I'm forgetting about. I think I'm, I think I'm taking Charles Barkley. Because Charles and Chuck, that's, that's real association. And those names are, are synonymous. Give me Charles Barkley. The next one is going to be Albert Mc, Mc, McDowell. Gustavo Ayon. No, Higgins. Uh, Thomas Goldstein. Okay, Thomas. Thomas Bryant. Thomas... Um, how about Isaiah Thomas? Isaiah Thomas. It's not going to get much better than Zeke. It's not going to get much better than Zeke. Is there Al Jefferson? Al? Nah, no reason to overthink it. I'm taking Zeke because we don't have a point guard right now. So that's one of the greatest of all time. So that's that's easy. All right, let's get to the next one. Jonathan Foster, Jake Anthony, another Thomas. Okay, we can go with the other Isaiah Thomas. So we have two point guards. And then we get the prime version of, of IT, um, Anthony Carmelo. Carmelo Anthony. Yep. Carmelo Anthony is, is, is a get. Jonathan Foster. I'm trying to do these fast so there is a challenge, right? So you're like, Kenny, you forget about this guy. I don't want to spend one minute, three minutes on every one. I want it to be kind of rapid. Uh, Carmelo Anthony is a good one. Is there a John through our history that's better than Carmelo Anthony? John Sin, like magic. Uh, John Stockton. Uh, whoa. We got to take magic, right? Because John is John. John is John. I'm taking Carmelo. I'm taking Carmelo Anthony. Um, I did think about like Magic Johnson kind of, and obviously he would be the better player, but is that a little bit too much of a stretch to go from first name Jonathan to last name Johnson? Maybe. I don't know. I've already been stretching it. I, I don't know. Let's keep it going. Kenny Foley. Okay. Kenny to Jess Smith. Uh, all of that. Bob Camp. Oh, oh, Bob. It could go to Robert. So Robert Ori. Bob McAdoo. Martin Brewer, Corey Brewer, Ronnie Brewer, another Martin, another Martin. Is there another Martin that we should think of? I, I think about like Bob McAdoo because if I look at my team, we only have one center and that's that's Bill Russell who's a good center. I could go Bob Pettit too. Bob Pettit in 2K is like a 94, 95. If we talk about going 80 to a no, we should go get the better overall player in the game in 2K. So I'm going to actually take Bob Pettit. Even though we don't really need more power forwards, I'm, I'm taking Pettit. We get two more to fill out a 10-man rotation, and then we'll throw it in the game. Cameron Parrish, uh, Robert Parrish, obviously. Lucas Galloway, Angel Porter, or Angel Porter, depending on who you ask. So we got um, we got Michael Porter Jr., Otto Porter Jr., uh, Lucas, L Luke, Jerry Lucas is one, Langston Galloway, Cam Johnson, or Robert Harris. Like there's all of these names have some type of association, which is kind of cool. I'm just thinking based on our team, having another center would be dope. I'm going to take Robert Parrish, man. I'm going to take Robert Parrish. Our center rotation is Bill Russell and Robert Parrish. That's elite. We need another point guard, I think. This last one has to be a point guard. I need to try to get point guard. Let's see what we get. Salvador Armstrong. So there's Daryl Armstrong. We get Cody Alexander. Shea Gilgis Alexander is a guard and he plays point. Uh, Nikhil Alexander. No, 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 no. It's probably Shea. Is there another Alexander? Current Shea is like a 90s plus. I'm taking Shea. Let's not overthink it. I don't want Daryl Armstrong. I'm going to take SGA. So the team looks good. Run number one. Let's see if we can go 82 and 0. Here's our team, y'all. It's pretty good. 595 overalls are better. And then 93, the lowest overall being Iggy at an 88. This is a real team. We have good distribution of minutes and everything. We got some offense, defense. We got one of the best defensive players in the history of basketball. So we should be good. But are we 82 and no good? Let's find out. First week is an easy win. It went easy wins. No team has even been within 20 points so far. Okay. All right. 12 and 0. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be one. I also just realized the end season tournament is in game. So I have to make a video about that. This is the first time I'm noticing that. Hold on. Now, this video that you're watching now might be out after the in-season tournament video. Regardless, the in-season tournament's in the game, and we are 28. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a two-point win instead of a 12-point win. We, we, we are 30 and 0, maybe? About to be 30 and 0? Let's go, boys. If I could get it done... 82 and 0 in the very first attempt, we'd be on cloud nine. And then I would have to do it without any gimmicks. I would have to do it just straight up with me doing trades, yada, yada, yada. But if we could get it done, we feel great. We are half, can we get halfway through? We are halfway through the NBA season and we are undefeated still. Stop messing around with our Chicago Bulls. We really like that. And and, and, and and then we lose to KD, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal. No, because we have, no, they have Bradley Beal too. Because we took 
Prime Wizards version, they have current version, and current version didn't do anything, and we lost to these guys? They picked up Kevin Porter Jr. I don't like that. Um, and we lost. Robert Harris, one point. One point. Well, that's sad. I think that if this, if I did this and then made it like a seven-man rotation instead of a full 10, we could go 82-0. But part of the challenge is getting a full 10-man rotation. This is not an 82-0. But I will do one more run of the name association game. So don't worry. We get one more chance to do it. And if we end up, okay, I was going to say if we end up 81-1, and one, I'd be upset. But 80 and 2, I'm not mad about. At least we can get his DPOI, right? Yeah, Bill Russell's gonna do that. Every single year you have Bill Russell in game, he's gonna he's gonna win DPOI. Uh we lost three total games in a year. We gotta get back into the lab. We gotta get back to the lab. I gotta do better with my name associations or whatever. We are in the finals goal against Steph Curry, who just averaged 41 points in a sweep against the Clippers. And we we win the championship. That's to be expected. All right, now we're trying to rapid fire this. We'll see if we can get better with time. Leon Ferguson. Evan Mobley, Hutchison, or Chandler Hutchison, Juan Con Con Connell. Um, Evan Mobley. Is Evan Mobley going to be the best guy we can get at Evan? Re Reggie Evans, Mo Evans. Or do we take Leon and make it Leonard? Kawhi Leonard, welcome to the team. Easy. Next. Bernie Short, Carlos Castillo. Is that how you pronounce that? Craig Olsen. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, is that say Benny? Benny? Is there any Ben Simmons? Ben Wallace, Ben Gordon, I guess. Carlos Boozer. I'm taking Ben Wallace. I gotta take Ben Wallace. Okay, this team is not starting off as good as the last one, but whatever. Uh, Salvador Haley, Matthew Dominguez, Pedro Wong. Whoa, it's gotta be a Matthew. Matthew Delvadova. Man, that's crazy. Uh, Matt Thomas. Ah, that's not good either. Matt uh, St Stafford. Nope, not Matt Stafford. I think Matt Barnes is like the best Matt in NBA history, which is crazy because Matt is such a common name that we, we've never had a really, really good mat in the NBA. It's crazy. Uh, Bruce Chambers. Okay, so you got Tom Chambers. Samuel, G G I don't, uh, nope. Garrett, Ant what is that? Okay, okay. This this is, this is team is dramatically worse than the last one. Dramatically worse than the last one. We only a couple picks in. We need something to save us. We got Tom Chambers. We could go Chom Ch Chamberlain. Chamberlain. I'm doing it. We need help. Will, come come save us. Next three, Joel Price. Okay, so, of course, Embiid is there. Seth. Oh, I wish it was Steph. Nick Ellison. Um, best Nick in NBA history. Nick Ellison. Nick Young. Um, I might just go Joel Embiid. How often do you get to get an MVP? I'm going to take Joel Embiid. We have three centers. We have no more center spots. Young Conway. Sean Wolf. Rich. Burt. Brunch. Br 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 um, Sean. Sean, Sean Livingston. We're gonna have to take Trey Young. We're gonna have to take Trey Young. Sheesh. If the last thing was not 82 and 0, I know for sure this one not. But we gotta keep going. You never know. We could get a Michael and get Jordan just like that. Okay, we got um Pistol Pete Maravich, Clarence Stewart, and Lon Langster. What is this? Pistol Pete? Unless we want to go Alonzo Ball. I'm taking Pistol Pete. I I guess we should have won the last championship because this is bad okay charles stafford cecil mcbride antonio bonner matt bonner antonio davis charles we could do charles barkley again we might just take charles barkley and say run it back because he's the, he's better than any other thing that i could think of off of these we got another mick we already did mcgrady i don't want to do that twice even though i'm opted to do this twice is there another mick in history i took barkley we have two more two more Ross, Eugene, Anthony Bennett, Anthony Bennett? We might just have to take T-Mac again because there's another Mick. J John Ross, is there Ross? No, I'm taking T-Mac. This team is bad. Oh man, T-Mac, all right, all right. The last one of them all, we need a Michael or we need a Jordan or we need a James. We need a John, okay. Um, we have a Neil. John Stockton could be on the team as a point guard because I think we only got Trey Young so far. Might just be John Stockton, y'all. The team is built. It's not good, but you never know. You never know. You never know what happens in simulation. Here's our team. On paper, it don't look too bad. I decided to go uh, super big and like, hey, we just go out rebound you by having Joel Embiid and Will Chamberlain together. And don't look as bad as I thought. And do I think it's 82 and no good? No. 
But only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. When will it be? I think we were at 41 and 0. Oh, well, th there it is. And it's to the Suns again. The Suns are just this powerhouse, huh? They just know how to beat legendary teams. I'm done. I'm done. I put the controller down. It's over with. We lose to OKC as well. Yeah, this team wasn't ready. This team was a losing streak. All right. Well, uh, 82 and 0. Still have not been able to do it. Uh, this was fun to try to think about different player names and stuff to build a team, but no 82 and 0 today. Video game stats guy wins MVP. Uh, even though the, the stats aren't crazy, but we, I think we just such a dominant team that he got the benefit of the doubt. Four total losses. You, you probably have an idea. I'm so disappointed that we didn't get a Michael. You know what I'm saying? Mike is such a classic, normal American name that we didn't get a single Michael on 20 rolls, which means 60 different names. We ain't get no Michael. Disappointing. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. The comment section is always open for new suggestions. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.